Chris Brown has never been, in my opinion, a good influence for young women and even a good influence for himself. He's causing destruction, man, and I think that's the case for a lot of people in that industry, especially a lot of the men. It's like, at what point can we just get to a point where we can have respect for one another and just have enough respect for people in general. Um, I, I think that a lot of women don't understand how much uh, they're defiling themselves, how much they're allowing themselves to be disrespected by these people because they've made them idols to a point where it, there's just no return and there's just no coming back. And I think it's just gotten too far. Well, enough is enough. You're getting ready to see uh, an altercation actually that was on the internet just recently that went through because of Chris Brown's beat and greets and his concerts and his actions and interactions that he has with the women particularly that come up to have pictures with him and things that you're seeing here. Um, it, it's, it's just very interesting. This relationship actually ended because of one of those situations where Chris Brown and his fans kind of going a little too far. And some would say that it has nothing to do with Chris Brown. He's the performer. He's the celeb. He's the one that's just there. He, he's not tied down in any relationship. He doesn't owe anybody anything. But that's where I'm saying, and when can we get to a point where we can just all have mutual respect for one another? That even if I'm not the one in the relationship, you know, let me just not disrespect you that way as a woman. Because like I said, a couple of these pictures and some of these things are just a little too far. And it's like, when does it become enough? And when do the women stop justifying it? Let's hear it. We're going to hear both sides, the girl and the boy side of the people who broke up because of the alter the situation that took place um, with the girl at Chris Brown's event. And we're going to start off with the girl. Let's get into this. And um, literally after my picture went viral, my boyfriend broke up with me about a week later after arguing because he felt like... Chris was too close on me. I'm just like, it's one of the most respectable pictures. I'm like, I'm bending over, grabbing my ankles. Um, but I, I would trade my ex for me and Chris Brown a hundred more times. So definitely, really, really worth it. And congrats to everybody who got a meet and greet this time. Y'all lucky. Enjoy the shot. Okay. She proved his point in what she said. He got mad at me because he thought that the picture that she took with Chris Brown was a little too close, a little too touchy, a little too filly. Her response was, it's one of the most respectable pictures. One of the most respectable pictures. I don't think I managed to get that picture. Did I get that picture? I thought I got that picture for you guys. There was a because because the picture was floating around the Internet, too. And respectable picture, it wasn't. And to give you an idea, it was just one of those pictures where it's like, you only take it with your boyfriend. You only take it with your man. You, you don't take those, you know, uh, uh, close up pictures. There's no reason for body to be touching and all that when you are not with your spouse. And it's just interesting. It's ridiculous because you're able to see the types of photos and the things that he takes with people these are the kind of pictures that, that that they're talking about and it's just defiling to me like how could you guys allow these things to happen to yourselves how can you put yourself in such usable positions <laughs> and 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 not find anything wrong with that and as a matter of fact get upset when the men find something wrong with that it starts to make me ask the question where are these people's fathers you know, giving shout out to Father's Day that just recently, you know, we just recently celebrated and passed. But it's like, where are these dudes fathers? Because it's ridiculous how this could be allowed and how it's not understood simply that whether it's a celebrity or not, I shouldn't do it because given the opportunity, she would have taken it because she's even said at the end of her response to it all. That I would choose Chris Brown a thousand, ten thousand times over her ex. Which you're getting ready to hear from right now. Let's hear his side of the story and hear everything as to why he broke up with her. Let's get into this. Well, I'm the boyfriend, but of course I broke up with her. But she don't want to mention that she was cheating before we even ran into this problem. The Chris Brown thing was the icing on the cake. 
And as far as Chris Brown go, these light skin, you know what? I'm a Shania. Do not get on the internet and try to act like, oh, you don't need me. You don't need me. You needed me when you moved to my house. You needed me when I had to co-sign on the car for you. You needed me then, but then you go meet Chris Brown and I broke up with your cheating ass. And the main reason that I broke up with you is because you've been cheating. This Chris Brown thing is just some extra bullshit that I've been dealing with since I met you. You feel what I'm saying? So the, the whole point, the icing on the cake is I'm not finna play these internet games with you. For starters, you're not, oh, oh, everybody can rah, rah, and Chris, run it, run. Like, he corny. So if I see him, if I meet and greet with him, you already know what's up. So you need to stop playing with me and acting like you didn't need me because you definitely needed me. And that's all I'm going to talk about. All right. And I agree with that. I agree with that. And I, there's the little clip right there of her right there. You can see it a little bit. Um, the caption there has their faces cut off, but that's her with the camouflage pants. That's the picture that they're talking about that was uncomfortable and unsettling for that man where it's like, that's a little too close. And she is the most respectable picture, respectable picture. Like do we, respectable picture. Here we go. Would you go take that picture with your Bishop on Easter Sunday? W would you let the Bishop take a picture with you like that? that ain't no respectable picture. Get out of here. That's not a respectable picture. That's out. And be, and be, it's 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 just ridiculous. It's ridiculous, and and I agree with what he's saying. And you can tell that th this was a history, this was a pattern, but this happens over and over and over. And what you guys have to realize, and this goes for everyone, this goes for men and women, no matter who it is, these celebrities that were that that, that people are idolizing, they don't mean you any well. They don't care about your life back home. They don't even care about the bills you have to pay. They're just more concerned about you buying their expensive tickets to attend their event. They don't have any care and concern for you, your husband, your spouse, your boyfriend, your children. All. No, no. So, of course, they're going to do it. With these people, this dude, Chris Brown, is selfish. He's been selfish since day one. He doesn't care about... Oh, he's not some family man where it's like, oh, I'm not going to do this. Like, you know, if you were single, okay, that's a different story. But this girl knew she wasn't single. It's ridiculous, man. It's a sad life, man, that. <sighs> it's not common sense for her that that is an, not an okay picture for someone who has already committed themselves to another person. You're in a committed relationship and you think it's okay for it. Like, it's like, are, are we being dumb? Like, like, do we really not know? Are we really unsure? Or are we just being dumb? Are we just playing stupid at this point? Sometimes we just got to be like, come on, come on. It's not even worth fighting it. It's not even worth debating it. But you got to know, man, these celebrities, these things we glamorize that we put so much emphasis and attention on, they are not here for our good. They're here to take, 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 take. Until they can't take any more and then they still want to take more. Open your understanding, man. Open your hearts to understand that some things just ain't it. And this is one of them. I'm glad that gentleman was able to realize that and step away from it because behaviors like this, they just don't change. Sometimes they won't change because it's an understanding. It's an understanding. The Bible says forgive them for they, they don't know what they do. But it also encourages us that in all our getting to get a better understanding. So it's important for us to understand. That's all I got for you guys on this one. To the next one. I'm out.